We sent off our labels to get approved, and they were not approved. It turns out that the FDA has something to say about what goes on food packaging labels. And that was an oversight on our part, something that we got to learn. Um, so I'm going to show you the label that we designed ourselves and that we sent off to be approved. And then I'll show you, I've done the two ounce packaging. I haven't done the four ounce packaging yet. That's something I'm going to work on tonight. But I'll show you the differences that, that we've discovered you have to have to be a uh, legal food package. So this is the packaging for a Wu Yi Mountain Oolong, which is pretty clean design. I'm not a designer, but I came up with this. And this is, uh, between Jamie and I, we thought this was pretty pretty good for our first design before we actually hire an actual designer down the road. Um, but that's not good enough for the FDA. So the only thing we were missing, now this isn't the same one, this is our Vitality T. Um, down here we have to have the net weight one ounce. Um, so that's what the FDA requires on the front of the package. On the back of the package, again, it seems like we have a lot of information here. This is just a description of the T. Uh, you got our logo here. Um, the ingredients, this one's just the oolong tea, and these are the steeping instructions. Now on the FDA one, we've got a description here. Here's our ingredients. Now this one has more ingredients because this is a blend, but you can see this is, this is probably the most cluttered label that we have. I just want to show you this as an example. So these are all the ingredients, uh, steeping instructions, logo, and then down here you also have to say, it says manufactured for and distributed by intentionality. P.O. box, a number that we still have to get, uh, Grain Haven machine. So, yeah, that's what the FDA requires for our packaging. Okay, so for anybody who's curious, I just wanted to give you a quick look into um, what we're doing to actually create our labels. Uh, what, we're, what we've got here is a site called Canva, and I'm not sponsored or paid, or I'm definitely not making any money off of them. Um, but yeah, it's like a mostly free tool to uh, kind of do some layout and design work. I'm not a designer by any stretch of the imagination, but this makes it pretty easy just to kind of click through and put some simple stuff together. Like here's our uh, our label for balance. Um, you can see, and it's, you know, elements you can kind of drag around and put wherever, and it kind of lines things up for you. So it makes, you know, somebody who has no sense of design like me, uh, not too difficult to, to kind of figure something out. So. That was the front of the 4-ounce label for balance. Here's the 4-ounce label, the back of it, um, for serenity. You can see, like, uh, everything's an element that you can kind of drag around and reposition. So these are the things I'm going to be redesigning tonight. Um, so, yeah, getting to it. So we got our labels back and they were not approved. So one thing that, I need to stop saying so, so much. So, so much. So, so much.